हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ धर्मेंद्र कुशवाहा एंड माई फ्रेंड भरत वी आर प्रजेंटिंग ए सेशन ऑन इन टू इंड नेटवर्क सर्विस डिप्लॉयमेंट विथ टैकर सो फर्स्ट इज द वॉट इज द नेटवर्क सर्विस ए नेटवर्क सर्विस इज ए कंपोजिशन ऑफ वर्चुअल नेटवर्क फंक्शन दैट डिफाइंस एन इन टू इंड स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ दैट इज अ फंक्शनल और बिहेवियरियल सो इट डिस्क्राइब्स ए रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन वी एन एप्स दैट कंटेन्स द लिंक विच विच कैन बी यूज टू कनेक्ट दैट वी एन एप्स सो इन दिस इन दिस डायग्राम वी कैन सी दैट देर आर टू वी एन एप्स वी एन एफ वन एंड वी एन एफ टू एंड बोथ वी एन एफ हैज टू डिफरेंट कनेक्शन पॉइंट्स एंड द कनेक्शन पॉइंट हेयर वी कैन सी दैट सी पी वन टू एंड सी पी टू वन आर यूज टू कनेक्ट दीज वी एन एफ्स टू ईच अदर एंड देर आर टू इंड कनेक्शन पॉइंट फॉर दिस नेटवर्क सर्विस हेयर इज द सी पी जीरो वन एंड सी पी जीरो टू एंड दीज टू कनेक्शन पॉइंट्स आर द इंड पॉइंट्स फॉर दिस नेटवर्क सर्विस सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज द वट इज द नेटवर्क सर्विस डिस्क्रिप्टर ए नेटवर्क सर्विस डिस्क्रिप्टर इज ए डिप्लॉयमेंट टेम्पलेट फॉर नेटवर्क सर्विस इट लाइक इफ एज ए नेटवर्क सर्विस कंटेन इस सब सिस्टम ऑफ वी एन एप्स और कनेक्शन पॉइंट्स एंड फॉरवर्डिंग ग्राफ्स सो दिस इज द डिप्लॉयमेंट टेम्पलेट यूजिंग दिस नेटवर्क सर्विस डिस्क्रिप्टर वी डिप्लॉय ए नेटवर्क सर्विस इट इज ए नेटवर्क सर्विस डिस्क्रिप्टर कंटेन्स the uh, it it contains the reference for its uh, components which can be used to describe this uh, network service and uh, yeah uh. thanks jarmendra uh, so as i said every nfe orchestrator or a vn of manager need to uh, take nsd as an input and then it will deploy the network service so let's first see what what comprises of nsd so it comprises vnf uh, vnfd so uh, what are the network what are the network service you want to provide you have to first define the vnfs what are the vnfs you want to use for your network service you have to mention in the nsd the other thing is vld so what are the uh, connections you have between your vdus in the vnf that you have to mention in the virtual link, link descriptors the other thing is vnf forwarding graph descriptors so you have multiple vnfs to form the network service so what are the packet flows you have to f uh, follow in the in the network service that you have to mention or describe in the vnf forwarding graph so if you zoom out, zoom in into the vnf forwarding graph it has a topology template where you can define your virtual deployment units so virtual deployment units is example of a uh, firewall or network functions where you will uh, each network function is deployed into a container or a vm so that you have to de uh, define the topology template so uh, in between the videos uh, there must be a connection points which is connected to your open stack networks so you uh, those open stack networks is referred by a, v a virtual links so uh, end to end network service is provided using this network descriptors so if you launch your network service through any of the network orchestrators we are referring to open stack tacker here so once you launch the network service it will look like this so you will have multiple vnfs so each vnf uh, each vnfs or all the vnfs constitute different different paths for example uh, i am providing uh, a network service for which some users want to have a hd video and some user doesn't need to have a hd video so for some users which need a hd video they will follow a different path which is called a service function chaining and the people who need who don't need hd videos they will follow uh, the packet follow a different path so in the back end they uh, the whole constitutes into service function chaining so in the, uh, if you use open stack as a uh, virtual infrastructure uh, the whole in uh, vnfs or videos deployed in the open stack compute nodes so the these uh, the responsibilities of network service orchestration is the first is onboarding the first step is onboarding the nsds into tacker or any nfe orchestrator the next step is to launch the network orchestrators and then scaling uh, scaling is very important in uh, especially in the network service so the other responsibility what network orchestrator take is uh, scaling of a network service 
Um, so all the CRUD operations, whatever you are creating or uh, upgrading or deploy, deleting, so all the, those things is covered by the network, or, network service orchestrator. And the last one is substitution mapping. We are, the OpenStack attacker follows a, it's a HC Manu Tosca orchestrator. So whatever, whatever the features you mentioned in ta, uh, Tosca, uh, Tosca template, but that we have to implement in the attacker. So substitution mapping is one of the feature uh, defined in the Tosca template, which actually instead of writing everything in the NSD, you instead of writing a whole VNFD, you will just uh, write some some another file in VNFD and just import that into NSD. So that that uh, that will be facilitated by the substitution mapping. So till now we don't have NSD support in Tacker, but Generally, Tacker is just a generic VNF manager and a generic NFE orchestrator. But it needs the ability to launch, to render all the multiple VNF services at the same time. But uh, we don't have the ability currently, but we are planning to implement or uh, implement NSD in this release cycle. So it is still in the blueprint, uh, blueprint stage. So if you want, if you have any opinions, please feel free to reach out to Tacker IAC. Uh, so, the one of the way of implementing uh, NSD is using uh, Mistral. So that will cover by Dharmendra. Okay. Thanks, Bharat. Uh, uh, we are planning to uh, integrate Mistral work workflow with Tacker so that we can implement the features like uh, NSD. So uh, in that case, uh, here we can see that in this diagram, uh, when a request come to Mistral uh, to Tacker and a VO side, then Tacker will first. Uh, take the Tosca NSD template and convert it into Mistral workflow and then pass this request to Mistral and Mistral in this case uh, create a workflow and uh, generate the task to create VNF and forwarding graphs and hand over this uh, request to Tacker VNFM manager. So uh, in that case Tacker VNFM will uh, create a uh, handover uh, to uh, hit and generate the um, VNF and forwarding graphs. So, uh, if if like if you use the feature like uh, Mistral, so in in that case we can uh, use the power of uh, Mistral workflow. And at if you are we are using this feature, then in that case any time of failure we can roll back or we can move forward in any any condition. So uh, this is from my side. Thank you all. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.